One woman by herself can raise 13 children and none of us ever got in any trouble. So that means she must have told us a lot and we listened. Growing up in an Indian town, I think because none of us had an abundance of anything, everybody shared. I moved with my parents to Indian Town in about the year 1938. My father was uh, a laborer on the farm at the time. I remember Daddy getting seven dollars and fifty cents a week, six days a week. Seven dollars and fifty cents. We would get up every morning and go to the fields and work picking and cutting vegetables. All the kids had a task to do. As an 11 year old kid, I was working out in the field, either driving a tractor or using a team of horses. Looking back now, I know we were poor, but that wasn't, that wasn't an issue because everybody around you was, were in the same similar situation. And we had so much fun. We did everything together. We worked together. We played together. And it was just a lot of joy there. I may not have had material things, but in my mind, it never, it, it never occurred to me that I was poor. Most of their goal was to make sure that the children had more education than they had. It is all in you. You can do what you want to do. We made it. A better life. That was it. That's my story. <laughs>